evening, everyone. I'm Michelle Lee. I'm Duke Scorch. In the news tonight, a major Minnesota study could mean new jobs for the timber industry. Environmentalists called for the study, worried the state was cutting too many trees. Results released today say Minnesota forests are healthy and underused. For additional job growth and job expansion. Hearing on this plan is set for July. On June 1st, a public hearing will determine whether the city of Superior will file suit against Burlington Northern and Novacore over last June's toxic spill. Mayor Herb Bergson wants the railroad to support a health study of those around the spill site, but will leave the decision to hire an attorney to represent the city up to the people. Democrat David Boren is the latest key defector from President Clinton's economic support team. Today, Boren announced his own plan, which reduces the annual Social Security cost of living increase, delays tax increases on the rich, and caps government benefit programs. Meanwhile, the president is close to naming his Supreme Court nominee to replace retiring Justice Byron White. Clinton will be the first Democrat in 26 years to nominate a justice. The U.S. Treasury Department is widening the embargo against what's left of Yugoslavia, targeting firms that play key roles in keeping open commercial links between Serbia, Montenegro, and the rest of the world. The Finger Hut Company and a former employee are being investigated by a federal grand jury for inventory practices and alleged commercial bribery. Finger Hut says the complaint alleges damages to the company in excess of $50,000. The complaint centers on the sale of gold and jewelry to Finger Hut. Protesters who block access to abortion clinics in Minnesota will now face stiffer penalties. Governor Carlson has signed legislation that makes it a gross misdemeanor to block access to clinics, counseling centers, women's shelters, and other medical facilities. Those convicted would face a year in jail and a $3,000 fine. Tonight, the official kickoff of the Duluth Superior Dukes Fan Club was marked with a look at Duke's past, present, and future. Duke's GM, Tom Van Schack, is well aware of the importance of fans to a successful team. He would love to have, and just the, the fact that 80-some-odd people showed up tonight to, to welcome us, really, and to, and to form this club, it was quite a, a commendable thing for the community. And Anyone can join the Dukes Fan Club, and there are still season tickets available. The season gets underway at Wade Stadium June 15th. And now for one last look at a local commemoration of a bar where everyone knows your name. Let's go out to the cheers party at the Western Tavern and Stephanie Guadian, who is looking for Norm and Vera Peterson. <laughs> Stephanie? That's right, Duke and Michelle. I'm here at the Western on. Tavern, the where uh, there was a packed house tonight. Cheers! And I was sent out here to find Norm, and I did that. I did even better. I found myself a clip, and I'm sure everybody's going to miss the show, but uh, not to fret because I'm sure it's going to live on to some in syndication. Back to you, Duke and Michelle. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. It looked like fun. Carol mm -hmm. Hall up next with our weather forecast. Stay with us. News from Snyderman's. We interrupt the schnooze to bring you the special report, Scoop in Meadowlands. Don, we are in Meadowlands at Schneiderman's American Furniture Craftsman. Here they make fine casual dining room furniture of solid northern red oak exclusively for Schneiderman's. Right now, Schneiderman's is featuring three different tables and seven styles of chairs from only $9.99. Next stop, Schneiderman's. Scoop, this just in. Schneiderman's is in Meadowopolis, just outside town. Next week, big snooze from Scoop and Schneiderman's, Meadowopolis, Duluth. What a beautiful evening it turned out to be. Too bad we all missed it. We were inside watching Cheers. Unfortunately, that flow of cooler air in from Canada will continue, so there will be enough instability left in our atmosphere that a chance of uh, little scattered rain showers uh, still exists, although we are seeing some temporary clearing in our skies. We also do see some splattered rain throughout parts of the Northland. The forecast, another, another cool night tonight, so you want to bring in the plants or cover them tonight down to about 35 throughout the region. Still cool tomorrow, but a little progress being made here. Still a very slight chance of some scattered rain. Highs in the 60s throughout the region. The look ahead, uh, not bad Saturday, some rain Sunday. Monday and Tuesday, the skies clear out again, the high around 55. We'll be back right after this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> The Minnesota State Lottery has a game for you. So play your favorite or try a new one. There are still millions in prizes you could win. So keep on playing. One more time! 
Your sports scores are up next. We'll be back tomorrow at 6 and 10, everyone. Until then, good night. Good night. Men's wardrobe provided by Reinholz, Miller Hill Mall, main entrance. Which is? Uh, like the gas. And this is? The brake. Which is? Like the brake. <laughs> and? You don't ever want me to use the two of them together. Because? Because it could rip a hole in time and space, and <laughs> we end up in a parallel universe. Correct. I can't wait till tomorrow to really lay some rubber. <laughs> but why don't we just tool around in the parking lot of the Kmart first. What, you don't think I can handle this thing? No, no, it's it's not that, honey. It, this is a very special bike. Yes, Dan, I know that you love your bike. Gee, you spend more time with this thing than you do with me. Oh, honey, don't get upset. Well, it's true, Dan. I was talking to the bike. <laughs> well, I'm tired of being the biker chick. I want the wind to hit my body first, you know? I want the insects to splat across my face. Come on, you get on the back. Mm. Come on. Mm. Wow. Suddenly I feel like Ann Margaret and Kitten with a Whip. <laughs>